Welcome Hello B Prusa user. This new Hello B Prusa upgrade will allow your 3D printer to correctly calibrate the table height all by itself. You will need some simple tools, including the spool support that doubles as a tool. You will also need a USB cable and a computer. You will need Arduino and Marlin installed too, but we will show you more on this later. First you should move the x-axis to a height that will make it easier to work on. You can do this by hand by winding the couplings at the base of the z-axis or if you prefer, use the LCD screen controls to have the Hellaby Prusa do it for you. Just navigate to Prepare, Move Axis, Move Z, Move 10mm. Move the axis to a height you will feel comfortable working on. From now on, make sure the Hellaby Prusa is switched off and the power cable disconnected. Safety first. Depending on how confident you are in your skill, you may need to remove some bits from the extruder units for easier access. We'll be doing that here, since it also makes it easier to show the process. We start by undoing the screws that hold the blower housing in place. Next, remove the fan by easing it out gently. Mark the fan to tell it apart from the one screw to the heatsink. Finally, unfasten the screws that hold the fan and the heatsink to the axis and carefully push these components aside. Should you need better access, just unscrew this last screw and remove the stepper motor. Simply unfasten the nuts that hold the U-clamp onto the axis plate. This is the new end stop we'll be fitting. It deploys automatically as you will see later. Now just apply the new device to where the U-clamp was. Note here which way the add-on is applied. Thread the screws provided into the corresponding holes and apply the nuts on the opposite side. Don't fasten too tightly so as not to damage the 3D printed parts and make sure the linear bearing has been refitted properly. At this point, all you have to do is replace the parts you may have removed earlier for easier access. It's just a matter of going through those steps in the reverse order. Don't forget to plug in the wires coming from the new end stop. One simply replaces the old Z end stop wire on the motherboard, as you see here. The other slots into where it says Servos 1. Take careful note, the brown wire faces to the left. After this you can remove the old Z axis end stop and corresponding cable. You can tidy the new cables by fitting them into the existing cable casing as seen here. Before you try out your new upgrade, you will need to upload new firmware. First, go to the links in this video's description to download Arduino version 1.8.5 and the latest Hello B Prusa firmware available. Install Arduino. With this done, unzip the contents of the Marlin folder. Open the now unzipped Marlin folder and double click on marlin.ino. You will need to edit a variable in the configuration.h tab. Find the line we show here. You can press Ctrl F to search if you prefer. Erase the two forward strokes and the line should change colour. Press save 
and connect a USB cable from your computer to the Hellaby Prusas board. Select the correct board and corresponding COM port under Tools. The board you want is Arduino slash Genuino Mega or Mega 2560. Then just press Upload and wait for the process to be over. With the new firmware uploaded, go to Control Restore Failsafe on the LCD menu. Then navigate upwards to Store Memory and click on it too. Before printing, you will need to calibrate the nozzle height. Just navigate to Set Nozzle Height, Calibrate and use a piece of paper to check the clearance between the nozzle and the build surface. Rotate the switch from one side to the other to adjust the nozzle height. The paper should be neither too loose nor too tight. When you are happy with the clearance, press to save as prompted. If you want to readjust the clearance, first reset the Z height as you see here, then just repeat these previous steps. To finish, go to your slicer software and change your start G code. Consult this add-on's assembly manual to find the right start G code to copy and paste into your slicer software. That's it! You can auto calibrate straight away by going to Level Bed on the LCD menu. Or you can simply 3D print something and your Hellaby Prusa will calibrate automatically before. We hope you enjoy your new upgrade. Join our forum for even more information on how to make the most of your Hellaby Prusa as well as interact with other users. You can always tell us about and share your experience with it on our social media, which you should definitely subscribe to to know when we release future upgrades. Be sure to check out our accessories page if you need parts for your Hello B Prusa. The links for these are in the description below. Happy 3D printing!